I'm here at the Electrify America charging station in Bridgewater, New Jersey, topping off a 2020 Mini Cooper SE. We're going to take this on a range test now, from 100% down to zero. The Mini Cooper SE is rated at 110 miles per charge according to the EPA range rating system. We think we're going to go further, but we don't know how much further. From here, we're going to head to the New Jersey Turnpike and drive in a loop back and forth and back and forth to negate any elevation change. We're going to drive at a steady 70 miles an hour. We're going to put it in green mode, which is the third of the four driving modes the Mini Cooper SE has. There's a sport mode, then there's mid, then green, and green plus. Now, green plus should be the most efficient, but it shuts off the heat, air conditioning, things like that. We don't think most people would want to drive a car like that, so we're not going to test the cars in that driving mode. We will put it in green mode. We'll set it at 70 miles an hour, drive a constant 70 miles an hour, and see how far she goes. There's no wind right now. It's 62 degrees. It's warm out. Good range weather. Let's see how far she goes. So, I'm 50 miles in, and guess what? I'm at 50% state of charge with 49 miles of estimated range. I'm basically using about one battery percentage for every mile I've driven, and it's held that the whole way. We're going at 70 miles an hour. That's GPS 70 miles an hour, not mini speedometer 70 miles an hour. The mini speedometer, like all BMW group speedometers, runs fast. So, we check with the GPS, I'm somewhere between 72 and 73 miles an hour is actually 70 miles an hour. So I actually am switching between on the cruise control. I'm running for a while at 73 set at, then I run for a while at 72 set at. The overall average is gonna lock us in at 70 miles per hour. One thing has changed since we charged up. Earlier in the video, I talked about there being no wind. That's changed. Now we have a seven mile an hour headwind. So that's going to bite into the range somewhat. At least seven mile an hour headwind traveling down the turnpike. As I turned around and head up the turnpike, it's kind of like a, not exactly, but a tailwind. So here we are, a little bit further than 50% in, a little bit less than 50% of the battery left. We'll check in when we're done. All right, so we're back at home. How far do we go? We actually got really close to the EPA rated 110 miles of range. In total, we went 108.2 miles. The trip, return trip, we had much better efficiency because we had the wind to our backs. At 50%, if you recall, we were at 50 miles. Coming home, we did much better. We averaged 3.6 miles per kilowatt hour in the first half of the trip and 3.8 miles per kilowatt hour in the second half of the trip for an average of 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour. Total range, 108.2 miles. Now the last about seven miles was off the highway as we circled the charging station area. The car hit zero miles left. We drove it a little bit further. We didn't push it until it completely ran out like I did in a previous range test. Um, I didn't want to be pushing the car around today and uh, I thought we got close enough. The, the whole goal of this really was to drive it till zero. Uh, but then I had to push it a little bit further because I wasn't happy with like 106 miles of range. So the total range of the Mini Cooper SE driving at a constant 70 miles an hour is about 108 miles.